chapter number two. First Corinthians chapter number two. We are reading from verse number nine. Uh, first Corinthians chapter number two. Uh, um, I believe that first Corinthians chapter, uh, chapter two verse nine to 14. That is the key scripture. That is the key text of uh, uh, the theme that we are running with this year. What I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has it entered the heart of man. That is what God has prepared for those who love him. How many people love him this morning? If, if you love him, I have good news for you. God has prepared some good stuff for you. It says what eye has not seen, nor ear heard, neither has it entered the heart of men these are the things somebody say things come on oh, I, I, I can't believe it you, you're saying it like you're really fasting say things oh, come on somebody <laughs> oh, the things that God has prepared for those that love him that is the good news that I bring to all of us this morning. In 2019, you're going to know the things that God has prepared for you. It says in 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, 
from uh, verse number three it says uh, uh, his divine power has given us all things somebody say things come on somebody say things his divine power has given us I am talking about his divine power I am not talking about human power no 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 I am not talking about the power of technology I am not talking about the power of I am not talking about the power of your, of your personality or your charisma I am not talking about the power of your medulla I am talking about his divine power it says his divine power has given us all things all means come on somebody all means I can't believe you some of you you can't wait to go and watch I don't know is, is it uh, Liverpool today and your excitement will be ten times what this kind of excitement here his divine power has given us oh come on I, I thought somebody would just begin dancing I thought somebody would get excited his divine power has given us all 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 things pertaining to life and godliness does, ma does money pertain to life and godliness does healing pertain to, li uh, to life and godliness does promotion pertain to life and godliness does joy pertain to life and godliness oh come on somebody his divine power has given us all things pertaining to life and godliness wherefore he has given us exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might become partakers of the divine nature of God. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it says, Wherefore he has given us exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might become partakers of the divine nature of God. You see, God wants you to become a partaker. He, he wants he wants the museum a part of you to go down oh come on somebody ha, 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 he, 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 he wants uh, he wants the mukanya part of you to go down uh, so that you become a partaker oh yeah 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 he he wants uh, he wants the masilanda part of you the madua part of you to go down uh, as uh, his divine so that you become a partaker of the divine nature take us off his divine nature we go back to first uh, Corinthians chapter 2 what eye has not seen no ear had neither has it entered the heart of men the things that God has prepared for those that love him what this verse is essentially saying is uh, God wants to blow your mind God wants to do things uh, that you never thought about. God wants to, to surprise you and do things uh, that uh, go beyond uh, what you have expected. He wants to do what he says in Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him who is able to do. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We are talking about him. <laughs> uh, he is able to do exceeding abundantly above what we ask, think, or imagine according to his power that is at work in us. But uh, let, let's go back to verse number 10. It says in verse number 10, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. The things that eye has not seen, 
the things that ear has not heard, the things that have not entered the heart of men, the way you access them, the way you reach them, the way you appropriate them, the way they become a reality in your life is God has revealed them to us by his Holy Spirit. We can go through this theme throughout the year. And this thing will no, these things will not become a reality. The only way these things will become a reality in your life is when you connect, when you link up to the Holy Ghost. He has revealed them. I have always said the things of God are not discovered. I know there are some of you here who are scientists. You are good at discovering. Uh, but I want you to know uh, you cannot put God in a text, test tube and find him you can't put, put God under a microscope and find him you can't find the things of God you know by uh, uh, employing uh, scientific uh, in, in investigative uh, methods no 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 if you are going to discover the things of God they have to be revealed to you he has revealed them you know the reason why we are coming here uh, the first day of January when others are enjoying and eating and they're partying and we come here we skip breakfast we skip lunch uh, and we're crying in here we are lying prostrate uh, oh, 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 on the floor here it's because we want him to reveal we want him to open it up we want him to reveal you see God is a God of revelation he is a God who reveals uh, and the revelation only happens when you link up with the spirit Okay, okay. In the same way, in the same way, if you are going to discover, if you're going to find out the things that God has prepared for you, you have to connect with the Holy Spirit. Continues to say, For what man knoweth the things of a man? We, we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. What things, what, uh, 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 no man knows the things of a man except the spirit of man that is in him. Likewise, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. If you are going to uh, no, if you're gonna uh, access these things that God has uh, revealed to us by His Spirit, you gotta you gotta link up with the Spirit. Our Father was saying two weeks ago, uh, in, in, there was a certain platform. Yeah, I, I think these guys were there. He was saying Christianity in these days has become so shallow. The, the, the kind of Christianity that people have in 2019 is so shallow. Why? Because it's limited to the externals. It's limited to the physical. It's limited to, to the outside. But uh, you see, uh, if you are going to go deeper in the things of God, the Bible says, uh, deep calleth unto deep. If you're going to go deep in the things of God, you've got to link up with the Spirit. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Remember, 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 remember those days. Uh, those, those days lo of lo lo long back, I, I was talking or, or over at Baines and I gave example of uh, Pastor Chikono I'll give a pastor, uh, an example here of uh, uh, Pastor Chesa the people who worshipped during those days not that they were better than us 
not that the people back then were better than us, but because uh, uh, they did not have so much stuff and so much going on in their lives. It was very easy for them to link up with the Holy Ghost. Their, their lives were, when they came to church, they, are, they were empty. You when, you, when you come to church, you are so full. You are full of all the drama that is going on in Zimbabwe. You, you, you know all the, uh, the, the, the comics in, in Zimbabwe. You, you are so full. It, oh, come on, somebody. Hey, he, we, 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 we are so full. What man knoweth the things of a man except the spirit that is in him? It's the spirit that knows the things that are in you. Likewise, no man knows the things of God except the spirit of God. And then uh, the next verse says, uh, uh, I like the, the next verse which says, uh, but, uh, for we have not received the spirit that is of this world, but we have received the spirit that is of, of him, that we might know the things, oh come on somebody, <laughs> that we might know what? Come on, somebody. Uh, that we might know what? That have been freely given to us. I, I, I want to hammer this to you. There are things that have been freely given to you. But you will not know those things if you are in the flesh. You will not know those things if you are just a, a playing church. Some time ago, we used to say, uh, this one is speaking tongues from, from their throat. You know, there are tongues from the throat. They, 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 then there is something from deep down here. Uh, uh, where, 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 when you begin to pray from down here, then uh, uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 26 becomes a reality. We know not how to pray as we ought to, but the Spirit himself uh, prays for us uh, with groanings that cannot be uttered. Oh, come on. So, uh, as we talk about spiritual eyes, our theme says it's the year of having uh, to have our to have spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. But uh, let me go a, a little step forward and say it's not just having; you already have. It's the year of your spiritual eyes being opened. It's the year of your spiritual ears being opened. It's not like you don't have spiritual eyes. When you get born again, you have, uh, uh, when you get born again, you have spiritual senses that are already in you. The, the problem is uh, those spiritual senses have not been activated. And today, as part of these 10 days of prayer and fasting, I want my spiritual senses to be activated. Oh yeah. I, I will show you from Baba's letter. Chapter 5 of the book of Hebrews. Is it verse number 14 or verse number 12? Chapter 5, verse 12. You know when you're preaching to people who are fasting, sometimes they look at you uh, but they're getting it. Chapter 5. Okay. It says, but strong meat is for the mature, those who, by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern between what is good and evil. Did you know that you have spiritual senses? <laughs> spiritual senses but many of us uh, physically we are fully developed but spiritually we are so underdeveloped our spiritual senses uh, have not been developed therefore we are spiritually uh, 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 dull our senses uh, uh, this is why we we are just going up and down uh, you know we 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 have no direction at all because our senses uh, have not been developed
How do you know that uh, your spiritual senses are developed? Number one, your love for the word of God and your appreciation for the word of God increases. There are some people who when they come to church, they just like the dancing part. <laughs> when we say now it's time for preaching, they get bored. If you get bored by the true preaching of the word of God, your spiritual senses are, are not developed. Uh, uh, there are some of us we just like the dance. Uh, some of us we just like uh, uh, we, 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 we like the jokes that are made in church uh, but we have not uh, developed an appreciation for the true word of God. Did you read what it says in the book of Ezekiel? I think chapter 3. The book of Ezekiel chapter 3 says uh it is uh, Ezekiel who speaks uh, and he says uh, and he handed to me a scroll and I put it in my mouth and uh, when I tasted it it was, uh, it was as sweet as honey did you know that God is sweet uh, the writer of the book of Psalms says oh taste and see that the Lord is good you know when you taste him you can never miss church because you want to watch a, a, a TV program. Oh, come on now. Yeah. When you taste him, everything else becomes secondary. Everything else is not so good. When you taste him, then you can say, uh, then you can say, uh, <clears throat> when I look into your holiness, when I gaze into your loveliness, when all things that surround me come shadows in the light of you, I worship you. Ooh, I worship. Ooh. Ah, the reason I ah, the, the, this one you have to go back to the 80s to pick that one up <laughs> so listen I am saying uh, you gotta taste him or oh, taste and see that the Lord is good when you taste him here we're talking about your spiritual senses uh, uh, there is a spiritual sense of touch spiritual sense of touch you remember that woman we all know the woman with the issue of blood it says uh, she pressed in and she said if I can just uh, touch but the bible says there were throngs of people who were thronging on him who were touching him but uh, there was a uh, another touch oh come on somebody there was a different kind of touch you know have you ever been in church have you ever attended a service and uh, something happened uh, you 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 feel you you touch it you go home and you know everything physical is the same but you know it's changed you know it's changed why i have touched him How about spiritual sense of smell? There are some of, so many of us here, we, 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 we don't have a spiritual scent. This is why we follow every kind of preacher. Well, we can't even tell. But uh, uh, 2 Corinthians, I think chapter 2, verse number 14, uh, Paul says, uh, we carry the aroma. Can you put it for me? We, we carry, there is an aroma. <laughs> there is a scent. Uh, uh, if you are spiritually sensitive enough you know you can, you, you can smell demons did you know that immorality you can smell it oh yeah you can smell it you walk into certain churches you can smell satanic forces there but then there are some of us if you are if your spiritual senses have not been quickened you go into any place and you just listen to how good the pastor is speaking and you say amen but if you have spiritual senses if they are activated you can tell he is talking good but something is not right here when you can smell you know not everyone is supposed to lay my hands, hands on me 
Mm. You just go anyway. Because uh, they, they, maybe they prophesied or they said something good and uh, uh, he, you have them lay hands on you. Be careful who is laying hands on you. Because there is what is called impartation. Impartation is when something comes out of someone getting into you. Uh, by way of spirit, uh, uh, it's being transferred. It, it's called the transference of spirit. Uh, that's why you need to be careful what you are sitting under. But anyway... I, I just wanted to broaden this so that you know uh, according to Hebrews chapter 5 verse number 14 uh, verse number five, uh, 14 or verse number 12 uh, it says solid food is for the mature those who by reason of use this is why it's different you know uh, when, I, when I'm preaching here uh, and I'm preaching a deeper life uh, the, the, the level of discernment, the level of, of, of uh, appreciation is different. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, the, 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 there, is, the, there is a difference. Uh, uh, there is something you can give at a certain level uh, and uh, it will not be appreciated at another level because people have not developed. Pe people like, you know, uh, the good stuff uh, they, they like the noise they like the good stuff uh, uh, they like the humor but uh, hey, the true word of God when you can just uh, sit and you say I want some more of your word I want some more of your word the pure word of God uh, when, when you get to that place uh, where you desire nothing but the word when you sing you sing the word Oh, let's go back to that uh, that illustration I was giving. Um, if you are going to have your eyes, your spiritual eyes opened and your spiritual ears opened, you have to love the things of God. You have to major in the word. You have to become that man, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the Psalm one person, where the Bible says, "Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, uh, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight uh, is in the law of the Lord, and in His law he meditates." Uh, day and night he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water whose leaf also shall not wither whatsoever he does shall oh come on somebody whatsoever he does you are looking for the formula for prospering here it is blessed is the man Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight, whose delight, you know delight, delight means excitement, whose delight, who is excited in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates. Just take you back to the time uh, of the 80s, uh, the Mugavas and uh, the others. You know, our delight were just in the word of God. I, I can see sa sa some, some sadobs here, Mr. Panduka, some of them. Uh, you know, uh, when, when we would have a wedding, we delighted in the word of God. It was, oh yeah, <laughs> when, when we had joy, it was in the word. If it was a wedding, we would be saying, Humble yourself before the Lord. He will. Muchatwe woyo. I go no Amazon. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, He will. When the bride would be entering, the bride would be entering, they would be singing, Only believe. Only believe. On Mamanya Mina Baber. If you that that was the wedding. Come fast forward to 2020 to 2019. Ay, ay, ay. You if we say humble yourself before the Lord. He 
we, we, our delight has moved. Mm, look at your neighbor and say, where is your delight? <laughs> where, where is your delight? We, we, have come to, we have come to that place where even believers, their weddings, they will have the most popular uh, artist out there who is known to be a spirit medium. That's what they want. People are looking at me like but Li li listen to me uh, if your spiritual eyes have to be opened you have to spend time what did Jesus say it says in John it says in Matthew chapter 5 when Jesus saw the multitudes coming he went up the mountain and he sat down and he began to teach them and he said to them blessed are the poor in spirit oh, come on somebody for they shall see Blessed are the pure in heart. If we can ask ourselves, the stuff that we feed on, mm, our daily dose of uh, uh, social media entertainment, does it leave you pure? Mm. Uh, does it leave you pure? Uh, the daily dose of, of uh, 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 you, you know how we, uh, how we have evolved. Everyone is, uh, we are all looking for the, the latest joke. If you find the latest joke, you, you are the first one who wants to, to share it with others. Okay, uh, I know what I'm talking about. We, I have a family group too. If I, if, if I find something, I. Uh, 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 <laughs> Baba comic pastor Rimunoma. I won't be that was just on two dollars. Sure, I'm ten to where to go. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So, the the innuendo. The, the, the stuff that we are feeding on. Oh, come on, somebody. Eh, 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 does it make you to be spiritually dull or spiritually active? We all know uh, if you go away, people are welding and you expose yourself to the fire. You know, when they are welding, if you expose yourself to that fire, it's going to affect your vision. There are many of us who are exposing ourselves, you know, to uh, wrong stuff, pornography. Mm, pornography. And uh, 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 particularly in, in third world countries, particularly in Africa, even the dancing, the twerking, you know what twerking is? Rapid, it's like rapid fire uh, dancing and mov movements of your. Uh, uh, um, uh. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 but listen to me, listen to me. Uh, uh, uh. Our father says, Second Kings chapter 5. Second Kings chapter 6 rather. Second Kings uh, chapter 6. This is an interesting one. Second Kings chapter 6. It's a very interesting story. Second Kings chapter 6. The story is uh, the king of Syria. He brings his army generals and his intelligence officers. He brings, uh, if we were in Zimbabwe, we would say he, would be, he brings the Jomic. He brings them together. And he says, who among you is a spy who is a double agent 
who says whatever military uh, strategies that we come up with, he will go and tell the king of Israel, who among us? He was serious. He wanted to, uh, to execute someone. And one guy stood up and he says, king, there is no spy among us. But in Israel there, there is a man. <laughs> uh, who knows what you say in your bedroom? That's a dangerous person. When you begin to see and hear in the spirit, you become dangerous. Because you, you, you know things before they happen. Oh, come on, somebody. They, they, they can plan something. They can set you up and you know it before it happens. They can plan an ambush. So, this is the interesting part. Uh, when he was told there is a man in Israel who knows what goes on in your bedroom. What you speak in your bedroom. This is his response. His response is, let's go and capture him. How stupid, how foolish can you be? You have just been told, he knows what you say in your bedroom and you say, I want to go and capture him. <laughs> so, they said, we will go under the cover of darkness. So that when he wakes up in the morning, he is surrounded. So they went under the cover of darkness. When they got to the mountain where he was, he is, a fa he is fast asleep. He is snoring. He is, he is enjoying a good time sleeping. Early in the morning, his servant woke up only to see the mountain is under siege. There are horses and chariots and horsemen they have spears they have bows and arrows they have uh, they have come the young man comes to the prophet he says man of God we are dead he goes to the man of God he says man of God instead of saying he says he says The man of God is not moved. The man of God just shakes himself and he says, Don't fear, for those who are on our side are more than those on the other side. When your eyes are opened, when your eyes are opened, fear goes away. When your eyes are opened, oh, you know what God has for you. When your eyes are opened, So the young man, we said he saw chariots of iron. He saw a horsemen, human horsemen of flesh and blood. He saw horses, those thoroughbreds. But when the man of God says, God opened the eyes of the young man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God opened the eyes of the young man. What happened? When his eyes are opened, he does not see warriors of flesh and blood. He sees warriors of fire. <laughs> yeah. He sees chariots of fire. Oh, come on, somebody. He sees horses of fire. The same man who was quaking in his boots after seeing the chariots of fire, he puts his hands in the pocket. I am saying to you, when your eyes are opened, when your eyes are opened, you stop fearing. Give me a few minutes. I will wrap it up. When your eyes are opened, what, what you just need is to pray, God, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Do you remember that woman? Abraham's concubine. Her name is called Hagar. I'll not tell you what they say, told me when I was in Egypt. You remember Hagar was from Egypt. Uh, but I will not tell you it's for another day. Uh, so uh, Hagar 
uh, I, I think the son of Hagar, Ishmael, is uh, seen, is witnessed by Sarah mocking Isaac. And Isaac says, this child of this uh, concubine will not inherit together with my son. She's fighting for inheritance. It's okay to fight for your inheritance. She says, kick her out. Abraham, as a father, you know, his heart is broken. But Sarah says, you know, you know who the government is when you are told, get this one out. All the men know what I'm talking about. There are certain things you are just told. That friend, I don't want to see. You know the government, who the government is. <laughs> So the government had spoken. Sir Abraham took water and bread and gave. And the Bible says, as she went, the water ran out. And uh, they were about to die. She took her son and placed her afar off. For she said, I do not want to see the death of my son. And in desperation, she cried out to God. She prayed to God. And what happened? God opened her eyes right where she was. She saw a well of water. I am saying to you people of Zimbabwe. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm talking to the nation now. Oh, pray to God. Cry out to God. And a well will be there where you are. When God opens your eyes, you see opportunities. You don't have to live in that area. You, uh, you, you can move to another area. You can move to another area where you live by revelation. When you live by revelation, you will see opportunities. Remember, Isaac in Genesis chapter 26 it was a year of drought it was a year of drought it was a year of famine there was no rain and Isaac soared in the land through revelation Bible scholars tell us that he just used the, the revelation that he got from his father who dug those wells so through revelation he started what has become a worldwide industry of irrigation. They did not understand it, but he took those. And from the wells, he watered his plant. Revelation will cause you to come up with ways. Oh, oh come on, somebody. Oh, oh, of living through this difficult environment. I, I've, to I've told people, uh, if you say two, three times, if you say, ah, Shakaoma. Uh, if I'm talking to you and you say ah, Shakaoma two, three times you are not my company ah, Shakaoma you are not my company if you say ah, Shakaoma, Shakaoma Katuka three ah, ah. Isusu tinoti Shakaoma when the tough when the going gets tough the tough get going we know we have a blessing we know we have a God who is able who is not limited we know we have a God who says I will bless you in the city I will bless you in the field I will make you the head and not the tail wow let's see 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 ah there is a story of a man who saw when you see our problem is we are not seeing we are seeing the wrong thing. We are seeing, we are seeing with, the, with these two. But you need to see the unseen. When you see the unseen, oh, come on, somebody, then you join oh, oh, the hall of fame, of faith. You join those in the, book of, in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. The Bible says they saw the promises from afar and they greeted them. You see, well, well, There are some of you here who are old enough to have seen me when I was a little boy. And uh, 
when I was seeing stuff. <laughs> you, you know, sir, when, people don't, when people see you today, they think you started there. But ask Enkobit. He was there in the 1987s when I was there. When I was seeing stuff. And I started declaring them. <laughs> When I was talking about uh, 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 stuff that I was seeing, and people say, "Is he all right?" As now when you start seeing, uh, when you start, uh, you begin to decipher uh, stuff from the spiritual realm. It oh, come on, somebody, you begin to see it. How can a young man who does not? know how to construct a full paragraph of English begin to say I am going to cross rivers I am going to cross borders I will go to places that, 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 that he is only now going 30 years later ha, 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 ha. You, you, when, 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 you, when you begin to see it you begin to prepare yourself to go to the right kind of school when you see it you begin to prepare yourself by praying the right kind of praying when you see it you begin to link up with the right kind of friends when you see it oh come on some when you see it Oh, come on, somebody. They are seeing. When you see, I am here to tell you there are some of you who are seeing themselves becoming leaders in this country politically continue praying continue praying it may take 15 20 years say just continue to uh, some of you you are seeing yourself becoming a, a judge of the uh, is that the supreme court go ahead Today nobody knows you, but you know what? See something. Hey, God is looking for her. Uh, he wants his children who see. We want 10, 15 years from now. Uh, 10, 15 years from now. The minister of, uh, 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 of finance should be from, from among us. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Come on, somebody. I told you, I told you of the wedding, the first wedding that I participated in. The first wedding I participated in in Glenview in 1984. Tichimba humble yourself before the Lord. Then, 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 only believe. Only be. And at that moment, it struck me. I saw myself walking down the aisle. 1984, 11 years earlier. But you know what? What I saw instructed my steps the next 11 years. You see, when you see, sometimes it's just a glimpse. Ta! It's just a glimpse. Chapter 6 of the book of Isaiah. Chapter 6 of the book of Isaiah. Who it says. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. His train filled the temple. And I saw seraphims. Seraphims are a special type of angel. Which had six wings. With two, they covered their faces. With two, they covered their feet. With two, they were flying. And they were shouting one to another, saying, Holy, holy, 
Holy is the Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. The whole earth is full of his glory. Now you see the link between seeing and fearing God. There is a link, ladies and gentlemen, between fearing God and seeing. When you see, you will start fearing God. When you are not seeing, you talk about people too much. When you are not seeing, you have a holier than thou attitude. Oh, come on. There are some in here who have a holier than thou attitude. They are holier than everybody. But when you see, it doesn't matter you had been prophesying five chapters. You were an established prophet. Five chapters you prophesied. In chapter one, you actually said, come let us reason together, even though your sins are as red as scarlet. But that year that he saw the Lord, you see, when you see the Lord, you see yourself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You did not hear me. When you see the Lord, you see how wretched you are. You see how, 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 how useless you are. When you see him. So he saw him. And this is what he said. His response. When he saw God, this is his response. Now we know your response is because you have not seen him. <laughs> the way you act, the way you talk about others, the, the way you, 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 how you're critical and judgmental just shows us you have not seen him. You, you, you're not going to one You say, Ndine namu, woe unto me, for I am undone. I am undone. For I am a man of unclean lips. When you see him, allow me to go down here as I finish. When you see him, you see how, how, how wretched you are. You, you, you see your limitations. You, you, you see how much you need him. When you... In any... I, I'm the... I think I'm uh, judging from the comments I hear from those who work around me. I'm the least critical of all people. You, you, you know why? Because I'm always looking at myself. I'm always seeing uh, how, uh, where I am failing. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, uh, you know why the Pharisees uh, uh, were, were so critical? It's because they were not seeing him. When you see him, you say, uh, uh, when you see him, that's when you begin to sing. When you see him, for a moment you stop singing Uko Uko Uko. And you say, Torai mo yo wangu ishe munyi kemu ropa ndi Oh, I get getting closer to you. When you see him, you say, Torah meso angu ishe muni Torah meso angu dish. If you are a lady, if you are a lady, uh, uh, like that, uh, uh, that uh, thing that was that went viral. Um, I think you saw that image that went viral. That uh, that said, uh, people cover uh, the, uh, when they are crying, they tend to cover the areas that. Uh, give them more problems. So they had a picture of a woman and she was and they had a picture of a man and he was covering his eyes. <laughs> the area that gives them problems, that's, that's what they cover. They're like, Torai 
meso angu munyi kemu roba oh dicha bite dice enese chando chama Tora ipungwa Tora ipungwa zakasara ni chunk haya masamba ya bakatama haya rakala mato Oh dish Come on lift up your hands and close your eyes just for a moment Rakaya masika rakaya mashaka rakala mahaya matsamba Moyo wangu Tora imoyo I wanted to preach Chando Chando 